do, do, do. Okay, now I can explain. Um, so today we're just gonna work on relaxing, uh, but also improving our sleep. Um, so getting us really re rested for tonight's sleep and in the future as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see if I can change the view. Okay, that's okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I've mentioned it before, but if you want some music, you can play some background music, very calming um, tunes. If you're on YouTube, you can just uh, Google some like <coughs> yoga music. Um, but otherwise Spotify, I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's the same. <laughs> I don't use Spotify. Um, but anyway, go forward. Let's come on to our mat. <clears throat> If you have a pillow nearby, you can grab that. I'm just going to take off my sweater. <laughs> I'm just coming into an easy pose, cross-legged. And just start moving the upper body, waking it up a little bit. You can make some circles going from front to back. And then go the, going the other way. Waking our body up a little bit. And then come back to center. <clears throat> so for a lot of yoga classes, we start with some breathing exercises. This just helps us to relax even more, get ready for the practice and just feel all the exercises even more. <clears throat> so let's just begin with our hands on our knees, turn them over, connecting your index finger and your thumb, and rolling your shoulders up and back, the spine is straight, bring your chin down a little bit and close your eyes. And just breathe normally. Have a think about how your day was or how your week was. What were things or thoughts that kept coming up for you? Were you particularly stressed about something? Or did you have a pretty restful and relaxing week? And now just start to take longer and deeper breaths in and out through the nose. Longer inhale, feeling the chest expanding and then exhaling again. Try to really feel your shoulders relaxing more and more on the exhale. Feeling your body relaxing more and more. And then with the same breathing technique or the style, we're gonna do alternate nostril breathing. So bringing up the right hand, lock the right nostril, 
Inhale through the left nostril. Lock the left one with your ring finger. Exhale right. Inhale right. Lock the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Lock left, exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. In left. Out right. Continue going from side to side. Doing this breathing exercise relaxes our body and our mind, but it also balances our Ida and Pingala, which is also our sun and moon energy that flows from the nostrils through the whole body. If you ever struggle sleeping, doing a few rounds of this one will calm the mind down, calm the body down, and help you to feel a little bit more sleepy. And then the last round. So with your second exhale, bring down the hand. And then just focus on breathing normally again, regulating the breath. And then slowly start to move your hands. And extend the feet, the legs out in front of you. You can give them a little shake. And then we'll start with our first exercise. We're going to keep the legs extended out in front of us. Pull the toes towards us to start. And then inhale, arms up above the head. Exhale, bending forwards, and then just relax your arms. You can either place your arms, um, your hands on your toes or on your shins, and then just relax even down. Relax down even more. Let the head drop. You can bend the back. Make sure you feel a stretch in the legs. Just focus on long, deep breathing. If you want to go deeper, you can grab the bottom of your feet and hold on. Take long, deep breaths. Also make sure that it's not real pain. You're just feeling a stretch. You should be able to hold this posture without moving, without feeling an intense pain. We have about another minute of this posture. You want to go a little bit deeper, push yourself a little bit more, and hold the pose.
And then slowly with your next inhale, carefully pushing yourself back up. And you can lift the knees up, feet flat on the floor. And give yourself a hug. There's a counter stretch. And we're gonna extend the legs again in front of us. <clears throat> this time, we're gonna take the left foot and place it against our upper thigh on the, inner, on the inside. If this is too uncomfortable, you can also place the foot against the, the calf muscle. You could try to bring it up. And then twist the body so that you're facing forwards. <coughs> And we're gonna bend forwards. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, stretching forwards. If you can, wrap your hands around the foot and just relax down. If not, place them wherever it feels comfortable. You can rest your head on your knee or grab your pillow and rest on the pillow. And then we're just gonna stay here, taking long, deep breaths. If at any point it's too much for you, you can come up a little bit. But try to remain still. We have about one more minute. And then slowly, with your inhale, bring yourself back up. And then bring that knee up carefully and wrap your arms around the knee. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So extending both legs in front of us again, bringing the right foot against the inner thigh or the calf. Make sure your body is straight in front of you that we're not twisting to the sides. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bending forwards. And then relax down. And then just taking long, deep breaths here. Letting your head rest down.
just about another minute. And then slowly with your next inhale, pushing yourself back up. And then bringing that knee towards you, wrapping your arms around the knee. And just take a few breaths here. Then we're gonna open the knee to the side, bring the soles of our feet together. So we're gonna do butterfly. <clears throat> so you can either pull your feet towards you or lift your bum up and move it closer to your ankles. <clears throat> Start with the spine straight. <clears throat> or you can also, yeah, hold your ankles and then just bend forwards so that you feel the stretch on the inner thighs and then relax down. So for this, you can place your hands wherever you want, in front of you, on your feet, on your knees. Focus on opening those hips and just relax down, bending the back, bending the head. Could be that your feet are no longer together, but more like the toes are together. About one more minute to go. And then slowly bringing yourself back up with your inhale. Carefully bringing the knees together. And for this one, you can either hug your knees or bring your hands behind you and shift the legs from side to side. whichever you prefer, or a bit of both. And 
And then we're gonna make our way into a tabletop. The next one is one of my favorite ones. So in a tabletop, which is about two fists in between the knees, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And then you can open the hands um, about uh, the mat width apart, bringing your right leg forwards in between your hands, and then sliding that foot under the, oh, behind, sorry, behind the wrist, and that knee is towards the right wrist. So that it's, um, what's it called? Doing a uh, angle, right angle, <clears throat> and then slide the left leg back. You can either stay here and grab your pillow and place it under your bottom. I wore the wrong clothes again for you to see more clearly. <laughs> um, but basically your left leg is straight out, your right leg is at an angle. You can stay here or you can come down on your elbows or even all the way down, bringing your chest to the ground choosing which option works for you. Maybe you use your pillow to rest your head on. You can also do it a different way. Whatever works for you, we're just gonna hold this one. About one more minute to go. And then if you're all the way on your chest, you can bring your shoulders under, your hands under the shoulders. And with your inhale, lift up. And then carefully tuck the toe of the left, tuck the toes of the left foot. And bring yourself back up into that tabletop and push yourself back down into a child's pose. And just relaxing down. You can choose if your arms are extended in front of you or beside your body. Whichever feels nice for you. Then bring your hands under the shoulders again. Inhale to come up. And then coming back into that tabletop. And this time we're gonna do the left side. So bring the hands about um, mat width apart. Left foot in between. 
bring your left knee onto the ground and slide the right leg back. Even worse than this angle. Then you can place the pillow under your bottom if you want some support. Let me just turn around. <laughs> Better. And then walk your hands either forwards or onto your elbows, or you can stay up if you're feeling really tight. <clears throat> Just take long, deep breaths. And then slowly bring the hands under the shoulders with your inhale, pushing yourself back up, tucking the toes of the right foot, lifting up, bringing the left knee back, coming onto your ankles into a child's pose. Either keep your knees together or separated. Arms can be extended out in front of you or beside your body, whichever feels good for you. Let's get there. Okay. And we're gonna stay in this one for a little while to make sure you're comfortable. And slowly bring your hands under the shoulders again. Inhale, pushing yourself up. We'll just take a few breaths here. 
If you have any ankle discomfort or pain in the knees, you can come into an easy pose. And we're going to come onto our back. So slowly make your way onto the back. Just lay down for a few breaths. You can move your feet if that feels good, or just lay still. And then we're going to bring the feet flat onto the floor. And then bring the knees to the chest and hold the knees either together and wrap your arms around or opened up and grabbing the knees and pulling them closer. So choose what feels better for you. Maybe for you, your arms are wrapped around knees or just opening up the knees wide. We'll just stay here. And then if your knees are separated, bring them together. And then bring the feet down to the floor and stretch your legs. Just let the legs relax for a little while. We have one more pose. For the next one, if you have a chair nearby or a table or the wall, you can get closer to that. If you don't have anything nearby, not even like a couch, you can also use the couch. If not, you can just lift your legs and hold the back of your legs wherever it feels good for you. Otherwise, if you have a wall, bring your bottom against the wall and then lift your legs and let them rest against the wall. You can do the same with a couch or a table, just letting your legs rest up against it, letting the blood flow down. And you can choose what you do with your hands. They can be above your head. They can be beside your body, wherever it feels nice for you. 
I'm just gonna hold this one. And then slowly bend your legs, move away from the wall or the chair or the couch. Bend your legs out in front of you on the floor, letting your hands rest beside the body. Close your eyes. And just focus on your body and the sensations within your body. Try not to think about anything else but yourself, movements in your body. And then slowly start moving your toes, your fingers. And then stretch your arms above your head. Make yourself super tall. <coughs> Bring the knees to the chest and rock from side to side. And then when you're ready, you can push yourself up or roll on your spine. Come up. Grab your pillow. And come back into that easy pose. <clears throat> I'm going to share with you one more uh, little meditation that we can do to help you with sleep. It's a breathing technique that you can use 
whenever you are struggling to fall asleep or even when you're feeling really stressed, this one calms the nervous system and uh, tells you it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna come closer to explain it. <clears throat> um, we'll do eight repetitions, so eight rounds of this. And basically it's called the humming bee. <clears throat> so we're gonna place our thumbs, we're gonna close our ears with our thumbs and then place our pinkies on our chin, on our, like uh, under the nose, rest it on the nose and then the eyelids. And then we're gonna close the ears and hum. So inhale through the nose and then hum. And then when you can't anymore, inhale, hum again. So we'll do that eight times. I'll give you a number since otherwise <laughs> we get lost in, um, in the exercise. You can go at your own pace. I'll just, um, well, once you're done with the eight, just relax the hands and then inhale and exhale normally and feel the vibrations within your body. So I'll guide you with the first few and then you can go on and complete the eight. So first, we're just gonna sit with a straight spine Roll your shoulders up and back. Bring the chin down a little bit. And just close the eyes. Take a few deep breaths in and out through the nose. And we're gonna bring our hands up Bring your thumbs onto your ears, your pinkies on the chin, ring finger on the lip, middle finger on the nose, and the index finger on top of the eyes. So just rest them there. Then when you're ready, close the ears, inhale and start to hum. Mm -hmm. the vibrations going through your body.
slowly go back. Think about how you're feeling now. Just observe your body, observe your mind. Observe what kind of thoughts kept coming up for you. Was it the same one? Or were you jumping from thing to thing? Was it easy to hold the postures? Or, did, or was it a struggle and you wanted to keep moving? And then slowly start to move your fingers. Bringing your hands together, rubbing them together, creating some heat between the fingers. <clears throat> and we're gonna place the hands in front of our heart center. <clears throat> and we'll end the class with one sat nam, a long sat and a short nam, it means truth is my name, my identity, true you. So let's inhale, exhale, inhale to chant. Sa nam, inhale, Exhale, but num. Thank you for coming this evening. <clears throat> I hope you sleep well. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to send them um, on like Instagram or something similar um, to Odette Bucker. And yeah, happy to answer any questions. Otherwise, have a great evening.